Okay, so, Take over. so as you can see, we have already harvested the graft. So since this is a lady 20 year, we always do a peroneous graft and we have done a little bit of pie, pie crusting. If you see, if you see there, is, there is a small swelling and the joint is open a little bit now. You see that this is the meniscus, right peripheral, red, red zone uh, tear right up to the posterior root. You can see here that the tear is right up to here. And in many year book, many people, they say that probably this is the tear, posterior tear, which can be, you know, which has to be done all inside technique. But for the last many years, we have been doing by outside in technique. So first thing is the preparation of the bed. Uh, can I have a torpedo, please? Torpedo, torpedo. So this is my very minimal atraumatic shaver, which is known as torpedo, which is very good for preparation of the periphery. So the meniscus tear has to be dealt like a, you know, non-union. So you have to prepare, the bed has to be vascular. So I am having a low suction torpedo, which is atraumatic. Okay, can I have a diamond rasp, please, now? So this is diamond rasp, which is again a very important instrumentation to augment. And the important is to do augmentation of the inferior border. See that this is I'm going down. This is all the way. How is the picture and the voice quality, Dr. Ishwar? Hello? Are we audible, please? Yeah, yeah, we are listening, we are hearing you. Um, uh, we can listen to you very clearly. Uh, you should speak a little slowly. Okay. okay. Uh, the vision. Uh, it's reasonably good. I would not say excellent, but reasonably good. We are not seeing the 4K view you are you must be looking at, but uh, we, we're not getting the 4K view here, but we are, I think, getting a SD view, I would say. Okay, that's very good. Can I have now we start the repairing? So since the preparation has been started, so this is 18 gauge Taui needle. So we use this 18 gate Taui needle, needle and the important of this needle is you see the curve and we use this curve to pierce the meniscus. Okay, can you just lift? If you have any questions, please raise your hand, use the mic and you can ask the operator. So you can see here our needle is coming just above the meniscus tear. And then it's taking bite right at the posterior edge. Can I have just, uh, just something to lift, please? Udevan Malay, Kevinson, Suture Manipulator. Raspberry, grab Gursa, Suture Manipulator. So it was a little difficult to have a purchase. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm trying to cast this. Vivek, can you just hold this like? Yeah. And this side, this has to be reduced. Yes, something like that. Yeah, Eric, you're pulling this side. Yeah, good. Um, Amit, um, we are seeing the arthroscope view very nicely. Uh, but uh, getting to the back of the knee, the posterior medial side of the knee. It's very difficult. And uh, I'll, I'll show you just hold, uh, wait for a while. Uh, okay. Can you just uh, show us from where you have come from, from the outside? Okay, okay sir, come. we'll show you. Hmm. 
थपमाउनु पर्यो कि विवेक यो सुतिरा छ सो यू क्यान सी द्याट वी हेभ कम वे ब्याक फ्रम द पोस्टर मिडल पार्ट अफ द राइट नी यु नो अफ कोर्स यु नो इन साइड आउट इज द गोल्डन स्टैंडर्ड because they say that you can do all the all the corners of the meniscus repair you know inside out lip but one of the problem they say from outside in is that you cannot repair the posterior and posterior part so uh, well that's that's a fact but uh, what we are doing here is we are trying to reach the posterior part also so with practice you know with a little bit of you know experience and using this special we are using a epidural needle from the back of the knee posterior middle part you know uh, to get it uh, lands the uh, meniscus you know so you see that the curved end of the needle that's not a spinal needle this is a epidural needle it has a curved end tip you can say so with that uh, you can pierce the meniscus Uh, it's pretty oh. tough you know uh, has a very high you know steep hey, learning uh, curve really he so chan ye bada lagaun par prop dhu maybe can you just what good uh, good uh, tip is from your antero medial okay. you can uh, put your um, uh, probe or a, or yeah, your or your uh, grasping forcep to hold the meniscus so you can see in the small picture on the right hand side dr amit is uh, negotiating negotiating the passage of epidural needle from the posterior medial corner of the uh, knee okay great so this is so the first bite first bite is always challenging Yeah. and what is important to see that we are coming from grasper please canula de no canula sanu canula sanu canula de no yeah no canula okay so look at this small right hand corner picture there that's the epidural needle from the posterior middle part of the uh, knee you need to have a good assistant good <laughs> helpers you know <laughs> even in the inside out take take you know the classical description is by charlie brown was that you need three people to do the inside out take take you know so so apexin just if you can just zoom make this make this uh, yeah. the outside view bigger so that we can show okay great okay so this is outside you can see that we have gone all the way beyond with the needle and we all know that vessels and nerves are on the lateral side of the midline so it is very safe once the needle is gone and then second very important step is to make the soft tissue tunnel so my friend vivek is going to make a soft tissue tunnel please vivek so he is going to give a stab incision right along the needle and once stab incision is given vivek can you show so dekhi raha sa hmm we are using uh, using the artery forceps and this artery forceps makes a soft tissue tunnel right from skin to the capsule which is very very important so once it has gone to the capsule you he takes out the needle okay then why it is called suture shuttle technique is give me uh, the uh, 20 okay so this is 20 ortho cord now we shuttle this 20 ortho cord by using the prolin suture so this is called loop in loop technique so loop of the ortho cord is tied by the prolin so we just pull it down so we are pulling and then it goes there and you just pull it out so it will shuttle okay mala probe dinus ta so what is important again i would like to show that we are here coming from up you see that this is above the meniscus and this is coming from above the meniscus and going down so next should not purchase any meniscus tissue it should come from below the meniscus that is how it will give a circumferential compression needle tya aldo
So you can see here, it's coming right from down. Yes. Grasper? In the first, um, when you passed the first needle, you saw, you saw that the surgeons were making a stab incision around the needle. So, and dilating the soft tissue with the, with the uh, tissue forceps. So that makes a track. So for the second passage, second needle, when you have to pass it below the meniscus, it's much easier. Yes. So, so the second needle goes through the same track and you see that the beautiful vertical uh, suture has been applied. Okay. Can I have um, another needle, please? You should oh, always sir. take that uh, stab incision around Adada, the Adada. needle, not before taking out the needle. Adada, because Adada, Adada, Adada. the needle, will cut the, Lame Lame uh, Lame uh, either the, 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 chodun, chodun. the chodun. or the... Lame Lame Lame. Oh, no, cut it. Okay. Okay, that's the first first suture type. Needle, please. This one is a separate uh, stab, not from the initial one. Oh, I'll again need a grasper, please. So as you come more anterior, it becomes more easier. Like uh, Dr. Amit said, the first one which you want to put as behind uh, as possible is a little bit tricky, a little bit uh, difficult. But once you get okay. your first posterior most uh, suture, then it becomes easier to come anteriorly and put your uh, sutures. Okay. Okay. Please. So you see that important is we are coming from up. Grasper. Suture. Stab. Mosquito, small mosquito, please. Lago. So this process has to be repeated. If you have a different entry portal in the skin, you have to make soft tissue tunnel in each suture. <laughs> Okay, needle again, please. Needle, needle, needle. See that this is not purchasing any meniscus. Can I have probe, please? I'll just show you that this has come from up, taking the meniscus, and this has come from down. It is not having meniscus. So if it goes like this, that is a beautiful circumferential compression it will give. Grasper? Middle, please yeah, pull that out. Oh, you can see two vertical sutures, Ishwar sir. Yes, Amit. Yeah, we see the second uh, vertical suture nicely, co opting Middle. the uh, torn ends. It Middle. looks nice. Do you agree, my friends? <laughs> oh, plus. So what was happening was all the time we were coming from up. This time I'm showing that you can come from down as well. Okay, wait. Perfect. Mala Grasper. Stab. T 
ठीक ठीक सभी ठीक सभी राइट ऑन टाइम बागो आधा आधा बंद हो ना needle please so now it will be visible if you see that this is can you show outside video big please so this is the tunnel and the soft tissue tunnel has been made so important is to go from the same tunnel see that this is the same tunnel and you come right there so you are coming from below the meniscus now yes now it's from below the meniscus any bar is over it oh, oh, oh don't pull don't push the that tool is up pande utte dago pande wali ke okay okay please i think we need two more or or bunda no okay next हजर हम्म अलग दी so i'm just trying to show that we can come it's not necessary that you come from top only you can come from down as well what's difficult ah uh, good so this time we are coming from down gasper i have used a simple cannula hey grass par ne mujhe dhago de okay oh but inside thulo par de there you go perfect needle please so now so since we have come from down this has to come from up that is important and not having any tissue of meniscus respers quick please in lot i think i'll put one more in between right this is little too far eh hmm okay give me the needle please needle sorry okay bye ये कल की दाग वाली फर्क हो
so there was little bit much more gap than my liking so i decided to put one between them ye diras diras par de eta kuma is from the same you don't need you take out the needle yeah rasper rasper okay needle ग्रास पर दे पर परफेक्ट साड़ी कौन ताने यू वांट टू गिव इट हियर कौन बैक साइड हाँ दे मलाई नील दे हाँ जी, ओके, मिनी लेवल तक, हाँ, आह उधर उन तक क्यों बंद है? उनसे यू नया हो, उधर ना, देव, so I am going to show you a new technique of combined all inside and outside in so i want to go right back side so this is first pass mini i'll take a bite right at the posterior root iswar sir can you see this yes amit i am navin it's very okay. nice very well seen so this is right from the posterior root can i have needle please now so if you already have taken a bite from the meniscus then you don't need to take a bite you just have to shuttle the suture can you be put on the posterior most one so this is the lower one see i am coming right at the back okay can you just give okay. it pass this is the most difficult suture to pass let me try to negotiate one more time ah this is little this is the posterior most you are putting yeah i am trying to put the posterior most Can you hold this? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I need a suture manipulator now. Maybe just take the needle a little bit out. Yeah. Okay, it's the same tunnel. Can I have suture manipulator? So I am taking the upper suture and the proline suture. Which one? Okay, Bivik has left that. so this time i'm not going to take it out you have to guess okay so i am taking out both the proline and the upper suture can just hold 
Take it out. Yeah. Just hold. Yeah, just hold. Good. Oh. Turkey, Tan Tan. Needle, please. Very same, please. Give me that one video. Can I have probe? Probe? Give me probe. Okay. So Vivek, you can you see that it's coming from down? Yes, yes. And the right and the posterior root, you know? Um, probe I'm having. You just come inside. Yeah. Have you done pie crusting on the medial side? Yes, of course, without pie crusting, yeah. you know, push. Beautifully seen posterior root. Without pie crusting, this surgery cannot be done. This is that is one of the limitations. Okay. It's here. I'll pull that. See that this was a modification of our own technique. So first I took the bite with the first pass mini and then managed everything. If you can see, probably we might need one more here, but I, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'll need Okay, give me one, give me one more time. Yeah. Okay, put that in same one. Yes. Hello. Amit, yes. Azur. Uh, what is the position of knee and to what extent the valgus force is required or not? Valgus is very much required. You can see that this is completely valgus and we have done a pie crusting as well. Okay. See the position? Yeah. I, outside the Khonusta Tulu. Outside. Outside view the Khaidinus. Bairako Tulu. Needs to, in total extension? Yeah, yeah, it's 10 degree flexion. Do you want to go here? And here, okay. Good. Let's go. Very well done. In the sun, you know, that was pretty rasa thing, right? Mm, they try your resume. Must put on the square on it. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, what I know. Oh, he they were the little line. Okay. You want here? Okay. Give me grasper. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Pick in. Pick in. Pierce got a sign in. Well, Miniscus Pierce got a sign. You see, get at the all new nickel. Okay. Okay, so Vivek told me that this suture, give me probe. Give me probe. So Vivek told me that this suture is going little down. So we've decided that we'll pass it from up. Okay. Which one? Huh? Nepal, what Okay, we'll, we'll pass it from there. No problem. Take it out. Go from the same. Well, Dagotan, go from the same. Okay. Huh? Okay. 
so we need to change that there was a small mistake that has gone from down the tear side it has gone yes so now changing to the meniscus tissue yeah we'll make it to little up I think we'll take this. Here later. Okay. Vivek wants perfect. This one? Okay. Come, Vivek. ओके मला मॅनिप्युलेटर देऊ कोण चाय होते हे बरं so you can see that yeah now it's now very it's good compression up. can i have probe please probe so what is important is circumferential compression emphasized by many if i pull this little anteriorly you will see that the suture is coming from up going down from the superior capsule just leave leave vivek for a while i'll show that and it's going from down so when you pull this vivek can you pull this one please when you pull this there is a circumferential compression see that that is what is all talked about and you can repair right from the posterior root to the anterior one i think we are done with the passing of the suture this could have been more straight but i think we'll take this 10 degree of angulation this could have come right here but since it is a live surgery everybody is nervous i'll take that okay so we start tying from posterior did we so we have started tying we apply a smc knot you see that this is the posterior most one isma ab ye bahar ko dekhao na so the smc knot with 20 ortho cord is very small and most of the time if the patient is thin they earlier used to say that they can feel the knot underneath the skin but if you make a good soft tissue tunnel the smc knot you direction ma jao pull vivek pull pull you can see that vivek is tying the knot and this is the posterior most okay okay lock that okay vivek is locking the knot next is to cut it out we use a cord cutter and with the cord cutter go inside the soft tissue tunnel and cut inside okay next the posterior one vivek you got it which one is the most posterior yeah Can you give me this agadi bada mala chuti ar deu ta ma ya hold kar dinchu it be easy 
Do you also do routinely biological augmentation, Amit? Refination, uh, microfractures, like yeah. If it is a isolated one, we do biological augmentation. But this is this lady also had a ACL tear, okay, which we we are going to repair after the yeah. That's it. After this uh, demonstration, so we'll not demonstrate the live surgery of ACL. So probably in ACL reconstruction, we do not do a uh, augmentation. This will suffice. Usually between two sutures, what is the usual distance? How many sutures you keep? Actually, you have to have three to five millimeter of gap between each suture. Okay. But if it is a circumferential suture, probably you can have, you know, little more gap because this is a circumferential one and a very stable and compressive one. So maybe a five millimeter gap between, between two suture would, would be ideal one. Any question you people have, you can ask. Is about to finish. Cord cutter. Next, please. You see that when you pull the suture, it turns to evert. When Vivek is pulling suture, it turns to evert. So the one which reduces the meniscus has to be the post when you apply. You see that? And this is a circumferential compression. Beautiful. Yes. Amit, there is a question from Dr. Gaurav. He is asking in intact ACL cases, if only a meniscus has gone, then it will not be this procedure will be difficult. In intact ACL? Right. No, it is not difficult. You have to do a pie crusting. ACL is always here. Medial meniscus is always on the opposite side. That is not difficult. Okay. Pie crusting or one is problem. If the joint is tight, you have to do a you know precision and you have to do a pie crusting which, which opens up your joint. Pie crusting is very, very important. Without pie crusting, this procedure is not possible. Can I have probe, please? Probe, probe. Yeah, we will go. Nice, tight. Very good. Very good. You can see the compression that has been achieved. Naveen, yes, can you nice appreciate to... this? Yes, yes. From posterior to anterior is very good compression. And very easily doable in our setup also. Very cost effective. That is the only reason why we do all this kind of thing. What it takes is a lot of time. If you can see that it takes a lot of time. For Good morning, Amit Mukeshia. For Hello, the Amit. beginner who take long time for ACL reconstruction, for them it will be difficult. But once you start doing it, this is a very simple procedure. And the, you can see the compression we have achieved. The beauty of the repair is fantastic. Once you start doing it, you will fall in love. We are in love with this patient. Hello, Amit. Azur. Are you able to listen to me? Yes, yes. Mukesh here. Yeah, Mukesh, please go ahead. Uh, very nice compression and very elegantly you are doing it. Uh, Thank you, Mukesh. Only, Thank you. What's the number of that fiber wire? This is 20 fiber wire, Mukesh. Okay. And have you any time noticed the, this kind of compression giving any cheesecake like effect? Yes, earlier, if you small, if you so if you feel that your meniscus quality is not good, I'll mm -hmm. show you how to avoid that cheese cutting effect. Uh, thank you for asking because earlier we were very much afraid of that. But since it is a vertical and you see that longitudinal fibers are like this, I agree. that usually doesn't take place until unless your quality of meniscus is poor. So to avoid that cheese cutting, wait a minute, baby. let me take this. So what I do is, hmm? I take this like, okay. So okay. my probe acts as a support. Okay. So when when Vivek does or pushes his knot from outside the skin to the capsule, then I gradually leave this. Okay. Vivek, can you show that? Yes. See that this is avoiding the cheese cutting effect. Oh, got it. Got it. It's a nice technique. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. And uh, what's your post-op uh, 
I mean to say, patient complaining of pain on medial side because of that knot irritation, especially in skinny and thin patients. Ah, uh, that is a very important and one of the most common complication of our patient. If the patient is very skinny, wait, let me take out. If the patient is very skinny, but since we started using the two zero and the SMC knot, you know, you know, mm. SMC knot is a very small knot, and mm -hmm. this is two zero suture. There are no complaints whatsoever. Yes. May I ask few more? Yes, of course. N number. Uh, Any time, do you feel with this kind of tightening the capsule or meniscus? Anything that the meniscus, you, I am able to see the medial border of the tibia. Let to now. This one. So, any over over reduction or over tightness causing yes, some, some loss of flexion or something like that? Yes, sometimes that can appear, but you see. Uh, Once the patient, this is, uh, it has gone little medially because we have done a pie crusting. Okay. So once the patient start, and this is in severe valgus, once we'll show you. Once you put in the normal position, it it remains normal. Yes, if the if the meniscus is very small, there is a chances that it will go a little bit lateralized, but still meniscal tissue will remain. And that happens with anything, uh, with the all type of uh, repair system, with inside out, even outside in. Yes, it can happen with anything. And uh, last one, how you prevent that entrapment of the superficial nerve medially because you are completely percute. You have not separated the fat or you are not going up to the capsule medially. Yeah, very very important step uh, that we have described in our paper, which has been published in 2020 as well. That first you pass your needle. Then once you pass your needle, just next to the needle. Give a small stab incision with 11 mm blade. Okay. So once you have given a stab incision, then you use a mosquito to just dilate that stab incision and dilate and go right up to the capsule. So you are practically okay. making a soft tissue tunnel, and through that soft tissue tunnel, all the passes of the suture and needle has to be there. So you can see that this is nicely compressed, and this is the well repaired. Meniscus. Any any more question? Otherwise, with meniscus, we are already done. So if you if you put this in normal position, you can see that the sleeve. Yes, you see that it is reducing. But if you are giving a valvus, you will feel that it is going back, medialized. But when you do this, it's reducing. Any question? And the flounce has been maintained. You see that that is very important of the functionality of the meniscus. The flounce is maintained. so we still have 15 minutes left uh, any any question we can just answer on this outside in meniscal repair and then go this patient had a acl tear as well so we are going to reconstruct the acl amit yes there is a few questions one is this is vertical mattress suture you have used no if do you yes. have any experience with the horizontal mattress suture <laughs> yeah horizontal mattress suture Uh, earlier i used to use that but the vertical mattress provides the circumferential compression not the horizontal horizontal mattress doesn't provide some people use horizontal mattress as a reduction suture so sometime if your meniscus is so mobile and it's not sitting in the periphery you can use a vertical mattress as a reduction suture and use the same two holes in the meniscus to pass your suture later on once you have applied the sutures Okay. Once we have done this, and you do ACL reconstructions after when you do the cycling for the ACL reconstruction, what about the tearing of the suture? What are the chances? Yeah, that is what after the meniscus cycling is not advisable. I don't know. Um, any other people do cycling after meniscal repair? We do not do cycling after meniscal repair. There is a controversy when to tie this suture. Either it is after ACL reconstruction or before ACL reconstruction. Okay, Amit. I feel you should do cycling because that will cross-check your repair intraop itself. Uh, the integrity of the repair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do that, Mukesh. Uh, tomorrow, not in live surgery. <laughs> <laughs> What is your post-op protocol, Amit? Weight uh, bearing and all. Uh, for this kind of right peripheral uh, tear, we allow weight bearing immediately. This is a right red red zone meniscocapsular tear, and if you understand the triangular shape. when the patient weight bears the meniscus tries to go towards the periphery which provides more compression so 
we allow weight bearing uh, we allow range of motion up to 90 degree beyond 90 degree we do not go up to 4 weeks and for after 4 weeks only we allow beyond 90 degree of range of motion okay if there are any other questions if not that then are there any questions uh, if not uh, amit the second ot might be getting ready with the with vivek on on the yes, yes they say they are saying that they'll be ready in 5 minutes i'd like to thank everyone uh, for being here especially my faculties from india uh, friends from all over the country for supporting the cause of development of arthroscopy in nepal i'd like to thank you very much i'd like to thank all my assistant out here anesthetist they are sitting and smiling thank you very much this was a beautiful anesthesia and i enjoyed demonstrating the life hope you loved and hope you learned something from my life surgery thank you very much we would also like to thank you i think the audience is giving you a big hand of applause thank you amit